All right, so let's take a look at the elevate line command. As you can see here, I have a whole bunch of flags on my project. And basically these flags came because I've got these uh, driveway lines that I have here that are intersecting with my back of curb. However, my back of curb has been adjusted, as you can see down here, and therefore my intersecting lines do not actually match or have the proper elevation. So I need to change these uh, elevations in this particular uh, example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the elevate lines command. I'm going to choose intersecting line and I'm going to pick the intersecting lines which would be just this top back of curb and then the lines that I want to intersect or I want to adjust are the intersecting ones here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and choose by layer and I'm going to select all the driveways by using the by layer command. So it's only going to adjust the ones with the flags and not the other ones because only this line is the one that is going to intersect or it's only going to affect the lines that actually intersect that line. So when I click apply, you can see that it rebuilds the surface and it updates the lines and connects them accordingly. So if we take a look, I'll undo and we'll take a look at just this line here. So if we were to come in and look at this line here, we can see when we go to edit that the elevation there is 951.5 and this one here is uh, 9583. So I'll run that command one more time. Again, just going up using the lines command. We'll pick our intersecting line being this one. The lines that we want to elevate will be that one by layer. And then I will click apply. And you can see it adjusts those accordingly. We'll close that. And we'll take a look at that line again. And you'll see that when I go to edit, I'm still at 951.50. And this one here, has been adjusted accordingly. So again, just one way to use the elevate lines command.